All right, this is a flow intensifier that we got back from a customer. Uh, you can see we already disassembled it. Uh, hopefully what we're going to be able to do is show you guys some tips and tricks along the way that will help you in your shop. Uh, if not, if you prefer, uh, we also at Henco do a uh, rebuild program ourselves and you'll get to see, uh, quite frankly, what we do. Uh, and this is what we're doing for a customer here locally. As you can see here, this is how a flow intensifier shows up from us in a wooden crate, uh, well protected and ready to be worked on. When we're doing our work, we like to use the uh, benches typically provided by Flow, utilizing the screws and threading into the appropriate ports. All right, we start typically with the uh, output adapter out of the check valve using two wrenches, both inch and a quarter. Uh, we use the two wrench technique to break free the output adapter from the check valve body. Spin off the output adapter and set aside for now. You will see a little bit of water uh, did come out of this, as again, it did come from a customer site. Not a big deal. Utilizing a spanner wrench and a dead blow hammer, we are going to uh, tap the wrench and break free uh, the end cap from the high pressure cylinder. Utilizing your hands to unthread. And you'll see here it gets a little tight and we have to reutilize the wrench to um, break free and make it a little bit easier. From there, once you got it loose, feel free to utilize your hands, being sure to support the end cap as you're unthreading it from the cylinder. Once the end cap is free, you can see here that the check valve is now visible. We want to take our thumbs holding on to the end cap and push the check valve out. Once out, go ahead and set it aside. Once done with the left side, we can go ahead and move on to the right side, uh, repeating the steps, doing the output adapter, uh, using the wrench to take off the high pressure end cap. Again, setting everything aside. Next, we're going to go ahead and uh, get ready to take off the cylinders. Here we're using a knuckle wrench. Um, it's a wrench that uses to help take off the cylinders without marring them. Um, also helps when cylinders get a little stuck in either the end cap or the high pressure uh, end bell. Again, make sure to support and gently slide off the plunger. Again, you're seeing some of the water because again, this tensifier was in use at a customer site. Alright, once you're done, go ahead and set aside the cylinder and we're ready to take off the backup ring. Uh, clean off the plunger, make sure there's no debris on there, sliding the backup ring off. Typically try to inspect and look in the ID uh, to see for any uneven wear. Uh, typically not good to reuse these, so go ahead and throw those away. Alright, we're moving along to the center section as you can see here. We're using two inch and a sixteenth wrenches uh, on each nut on either end of the tie rod using a two wrench technique to go ahead and take off the nuts. And again, we're only going to take off one nut, um, leaving the other nut on. You can slide up the tie rod through the, uh, through the end bell. Uh, please note here, uh, special instruction is to not to use your torque wrench uh, that is used for the assembly and the disassembly, as torque wrenches are made uh, for uh, assembly specifically, not uh, disassembly and you can actually ruin your torque wrench. So again, go ahead and set aside all of your uh, tie rods and nuts and we'll move on to the next step. All right, next we're moving on to the uh, disassembly of the center section, specifically the two hydraulic end caps in the center section. Uh, we're going to go ahead and retake out one side of the screws holding the intensifier to the workbench, setting those aside. And uh, be prepared, this is a customer intensifier who uh, didn't take out as much of the oil as they should have. Uh, so we're going to be careful here. And I typically like to use a rubber mallet, slightly tapping on the end bell uh, to tap free from the cylinder. And then going ahead and pulling it out and setting it aside. Um, and again, if this is an intensifier that's been used, be prepared to uh, have some uh, paper towels or shop towels because uh, you're going to get some oil. 
Once you get your oil under control, uh, you can go ahead and we're going to put one hand on the plunger that's uh, sticking out and gently pull on it, keeping things as parallel as possible, and go ahead and pull out the center section with the two pistons from the hydraulic end cap. That concludes the disassembly of the full intensifier. Uh, stay tuned for more of our videos. As you'll see, we have uh, check valve repair or rebuild, high pressure uh, cylinder rebuilds, hydraulic center section, and then the entire um, reassembly of the intensifier. Thanks for watching.